What you need to know right now on GMA3. Russia's deadly strike on a military base so close to NATO territory, just miles from Poland. The number of refugees closing in on 3 million now as the crisis in Ukraine widens, stretching into its 18th day. A Peabody Award-winning American journalist among the fatalities. ABC senior foreign correspondent Ian Panel is on the ground for us with the very latest. And it's a word that conjures up powerful images of one of the deadliest incidents ever on American soil. Attica, the prison uprising, now the topic of an Oscar-nominated documentary from filmmaker Stanley Nelson. The prisoners, you know, who rebelled at Attica were at the very core fighting to be treated like human beings. That was what they wanted. She'll be the first black woman to blast off to the International Space Station for a long-duration mission. ABC transportation correspondent Gio Benitez with the history-making NASA astronaut Jessica Watkins. And it's Money Monday here. Expert help on ways to cut back on spending with record-breaking inflation taking such a big bite out of the family budget right now. And dancer, singer, actress Julianne Huff here to help us step into the movies. Now from Times Square, Amy Robach and TJ Holmes with what you need to know. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us as we begin a brand new week here at GMA3. You, you want to give them the good news or the bad news first? Because some of the news, well, the good news is Dr. Sutton's here. It's <laughs> good to have him in the building. <laughs> He's always helping us in out. Person. But you're here, here. here for, uh, with us for the week, right? Absolutely. All right, Dr. Uh, Dr. Ashton taking some much deserved time off. But you got the, start with the good news. We're, okay, there's the good news. Developments. We're going to start this development. This yes. big number, big number is 80. Number of Americans hospitalized with COVID-19 is now down 80 percent. That is since the January peak. Not in the stands. <laughs> How about that, right? Brady says he has unfinished business, and the movies, the moves, not unprecedented. However, sports stars like Michael Jordan, Brett Favre, and others have unretired too. <laughs> Back to you, Amy. Yeah. <laughs> but those two did, dudes did it twice. Jordan came out of retirement twice. Brett Favre did it twice. So this is not unprecedented, but he's back. But what whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> Just 60 days later. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. There is much more ahead right here on GMA3 on this Monday. The growing terror in Ukraine and worldwide ramifications as Russian missiles strike a base so close to NATO territory. Our Ian panel with the latest from the center of the conflict. Also, we'll hear from the acclaimed filmmaker behind the Oscar-nominated documentary that captures the historic uprising at Attica. Stay with us on this Monday edition of GMA3, folks. We we are right back. Okay. Welcome back to GMA3, everybody. Concern now after a Russian airstrike near NATO territory. Russia hit. Yes. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> up next, right here on GMA3, we do have, as you saw, Dr. Uh, Darian Sutton in the building with us. He's taking on some medical questions for you. And then breaking barriers in space. We're going to hear from the first black woman launching toward a long duration mission on the International Space Station. GMA3 will be right back. But my list is on my phone. <laughs> In the notes, right? I mean, you might have to go old school. <laughs> right. Oh, Dr. Sutton, thank you. And uh, that's what you need to know, folks, for this Monday. We appreciate you spending part of your day here with us. We're going to see you back here tomorrow. I'm TJ Holmes. And I'm Amy Robach. <laughs> Great having Julianne Hawk here, the new New Yorker, in studio with us. And you can check out Step Into the Movies this Sunday, March 20th, right here on ABC. Thank you so much for being with us. For Dr. Darian Sutton and all of us here at ABC News, we hope you have a wonderful Monday. Right? Yes. It's Monday.